in this presentation we are going to discuss about the following thing what is edi why we need it the components of edi edi diagram its processes and standard edi trade exchange steps of edi its advantages and disadvantages followed by conclusion qmcqs and references so what is edi edi stands for electronic data interchange system it is an electronic interchange of business data in a standardized format it is a process that allows business entities which are also called trading partners to send information to another company electronically rather than using paper so this basically reduces paperwork moving to the next slide why we need edi so edi can edi business documents can be exchanged using many business documents can be exchanged using edi but the two most common are the orders and invoices at a minimum edi replaces the mail preparation preparation and handling associated with traditional business communication as i discussed earlier edi uses a standardized format so it helps to standardize the information communication between the trading partners which also make it possible for paperless exchange so it also saves paper moving to the next slide here we will discuss about the components of edi system so edi system has basically three components business application which is the main application the translator which is help to translate the business data into the standard format and the communication network which is used to transmit the data moving to the next slide uh, which will be presented by my teammate rahul uh, good evening sir uh, now i will be explaining you about a short idea about uh, edi diagram now what is happening in this particular there is there is enterprise 1 and enterprise 2 this particular diagram shows what is the actual correlation between them there is there will be sales purchasing manufacturing distribution as well as finance over there now this is a uh, what are the key points over here is this is a structured business document standard format and there will be a direct communication okay next process now along uh, through this flow chart i will explain you how this works what is the actual process of edi what is happening over here first the buyer is generating whatever he or she wants to purchase when he faxes or mails whatever his requirement is then the supplier enters order into internal system and prints an invoice now this invoice could be sent through faxes or mails to the buyer who is entering the invoice into the internal system for processing this edi process looks like no paper not no people involved direct from the buyer's internal system to supplier internal system or supplier internal system to buyer's internal system there will be a purchase order and there will be invoice now the next will be uh, presented by my fellow teammate hello everyone i am shoham kundu and i am going to talk about edi standards so these are basically divided into this parts edi pack pta audit income and c x12 ipa and uh, tata accounts these are based in different countries like edi pack is based on euro BDA is based on Germany. Audit is based on Europe, and this EANCOM is also based on Europe. But NCX12 is based on USA. On the other hand, HIPA is based on North America, and Tradacom is based in UK. Please. So, what is the EDI trade exchanges? it's like based on the customers edi and the supplier like customer orders something to the supplier and the supplier deliver uh, delivers it there then he sends an invoice and the customer does the payment so these are the transactions that happen between the customer and the supplier these are all the edi trade exchange next like please so the steps of edi prepare the document to be sent is the first step so the sources of data and the methods that are available to generate the electronic document can include various types of 
laptops like human data entry via screens then reformatted electronic reports into data files then exporting pc based data from that sheet or databases then purchasing application software that has built in interfaces for eti files and lastly enhancing existing applications to automatically create output files that are ready for translation into an edi standard so from here on my friend will continue good evening sir i am good sir and i am going to discuss about the remaining steps of edi along with its advantages and disadvantages so after preparing the documents we need to translate the documents into the edi format according to the standards which was discussed by shohan in the previous slide varying in different regions and then we need to connect and transmit the edi documents to the respective business partners also the main advantages of using edi is to improve the supply chain and operational efficiency as it requires less paperwork and obviously man doing this in a machine or a computerized way is more efficient than doing the paperwork manually it also leads to greater customer satisfactions as there is less chances of misplacement of documents it also leads to better decision making and helps to develop better business partnership with the respective companies providing a competitive advantage it also it helps in improved visibility as every document can be can be easily recognizable in this format it also improves data speed and accuracy and decreases the inventory costs but it also has certain disadvantages like the setup and maintenance of some of the formats of edi is quite expensive also the initial setup is time consuming and the edi standard also changes the business processes depends on these formats and if any of the standard format changes then the business process has to be changed accordingly which would consume a lot of time and money then the system electronic protection by which i mean that an edi enabled system reacts electronic protection from viruses hacking malware and other frauds the next is that quantities are the staff training cost as we need to train the staff properly about how to use this edi enabled software also proper backup should be maintained as the whole data depends on this edi in case of any crash of edi system proper backup has to be maintained and extra cost is required for it also we need to limit the trading partners as some organizations stop doing business which do not use edi for instance walmart prefers to do business only with those organization which edi uses edi so we can say that using edi companies send information digitally from one business system to another using the standardized formats which differ in different regions it or it replaces order processes transactions and communications that were done with paper or fax in the past so it's an important component for automation in business processes so now we are going to discuss four mcqs regarding this topic the first mcq is what does edi primarily reduce from trading partner communications and the correct answer for this question will be the paper based transactions it reduces the all the transactions which were previously done on paper the next question is electronic data interchange or edi software consists of which four layers so the answer to this question will be the business application layer the internal format conversion layer the edi translator and the edi envelope layer the next question reads in edi terms what does mapping refers to so mapping is a process of converting an electronic document into an edi message so the last question is what among the following four options does an edi request to function so so the edi requires a representation of common business documents in computer readable forms in order to con convert them into its respective edi formats and complete the transaction so these are the references that we have used for 
Thank you, sir. Thank you. Very good presentation, Rudra Nil Shoham Rajesh Rahul.